I want to focus on this particular one. Okay, so according to Jabs Whiskey, Burner Boy on his new track, Brack. Nigerian artist Dremo replies him. So according to Jabs Whiskey, Burner Boy in, on his new track, all right, Brack and the Nigerian artist Dremo replies him. Now, as soon as Dremo replied, so according to Ghanaian artist and Ghanaian rappers also joined up. You have Lyrical Joe joining up, CJ Bigger Man also joining or joining the food to add up the verse and then you know call the attention hello people hello my lovely viewers welcome to this sunday's exclusive right here on this channel i am tj i am your commander in chief i am the chief campaign on another exclusive day in the pipeline you know that as soon as you see me here i have a new or a spanky new exclusive for you okay for the past three days from friday up till now i've not been able to share with you new spanky new exclusives on this channel right okay it's because basically we're looking at putting this new studio together so this is the first official first and official exclusive right here on this or in this new studio all right our beautiful setup where we can have you know, one-on-one -on -one convo where I can also bring to your fold, you know, the editorials and then where we can have a guest to join us on some of the topics as, you know, it was requested by some viewers that we should also, aside the editorial, there should be new and then other diverse content right here on TJ Studio. So from the coming week or in the coming week, all right, we are, come, uh, we are basically <clears throat> going to share with you you know, different topics, different varieties of exclusives, all right? But for now, I'll be here with the editorials, all right, like I said. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this. What is on the bill today? Well, in my, or uh, in a bit of, you know, me, you know, putting on hold exclusives and, you know, putting the studio together, there's been series of exclusive or series of stuff going on within the music industry and i'm gonna share i'm gonna do my best to be dropping back-to-back -back exclusives now that the studio the new studio is in session okay now i want to focus on this particular one okay so according to jobs whiskey burner boy on his new track brack nigerian artist dremo replies him so according to jobs whiskey burner boy in on his new track all right brag and the nigerian artist dremo replies him now as soon as dremo replied sir called the ghanian artist and ghanian rappers also joined up you have lyrical joe joining up cj bigger man also joining or joining the food to add up the verse and then you know call the attention now the question of the day now right now is was it a job or it goes on with the title of the song brag it's called the bragging about you know whatever he's saying or him basically you know has a point and then he's throwing jabs okay he throw he's throwing jabs in that regard now we we'll look at it in that regard the song is known as brag all right is he bragging or he's throwing shots at the nigerian artist he mentioned in the video which merited dremo replying and then lyrical joe and then CJ Bigger Man adding up to their bill. We'll look at it and I'm gonna face the fact. You know, this is basically what I do on this channel. Now let's look at this punchline in the video or in the audio slide, all right, with a cartoon video. After this, we'll look at the video in a snap, all right? And then from there, we we'll take it from there. All right, this is what Sarkozy said. Whiskey came, I was already doing it. The video started when I was improving it. And then Odogu, that is Burner Boy, came through. Black Sheriff to Ashake, I'm still going. You thought I was losing it. Okay, let me repeat. Whiskey came, I was already doing it. The video started when I was improving it. And then Odogu came through. Black Sheriff to Ashake, I am still going. You thought I was losing it. All right, so there's been series of opinions on the waves on social media. I want to look, I want to look at it in a positive tangent you know, stay fixated in the middle and look at it from both ends. So let's basically listen to it in a snap, okay? And then I will share my, you know, opinion about this whole brah. Whiskey came, I was already doing it. David Doe started when I was improving it. And then Odogu came through, black sheriff to watch a camp still gone with you, thought I was losing it. 
Orukami Ni Choma, and her name is Abachukun Emma Wo TJ Studios. Keep watching TJ Studios. Okay, welcome back. You, you've heard the audio for yourself. And basically, this is what Sarkodia is saying in that regard now. He's a rapper, you know, rap game. We know it's a Buru Jenna. It's not an original African Jenna, but it's a Buru Jenna. It adds up the other Nigerian rappers there too. So rap is also, you know, an additional Jenna within the African region. Not as buoyant and bigger like before, but it is around. It is it is part of the status quo of our music game. All right. We've seen Sarkodie collaborating with Ice Springs, you know, Burner Boy himself. And then Davido himself in that regard. Okay, so it has added up or has come back to add up to the fact that other artists are also adding their voice to this whole rap thing. And you know, some want their attention, some want to join and then hop on to this to grab the attention of all. You get it. Like rappers like, you know, Lyrical Joe, rappers like, you know, CJ Bigaman from Ghana. They, they will love, they will love to be all around this, you know, this thing. Because in Ghana, this is what propels a lot of our artists. When this one goes at, this particular artist goes at each other. It's a thing in Ghana. But let's look at it from this angle. Is it safe to say that Sarkodie needs or needed the attention of the aforementioned artist, basically Bernard Boy DeVito, to stay relevant once again? Is it something because Sarkodie is about to release another album of a mixtape is basically doing this to grab the attention of Ghanaians, Nigerians, and Africans. All right. All right. Okay. So I'm looking at this as someone who is an attention seeker. We know Sarkodie is good, a good rapper. Other people have suggested that he should be able to blend a lot of genres in his, in his style of music. He's done that. But rap, the rap genre as a whole has not been, it's not one which is, you know, well drummed and well accepted within the enclaves of the African region on like Afrobeat and so on and so forth. All right. So basically, <laughs> I am looking at it from that angle, an attention seeking sort of thing. I have said this about the whiskey, the video thing. They know what they are doing. They are business oriented. And is Sarkodie looking at it from that angle, towing the line of whiskey and the video to get the attention? The, the video basically is everywhere but others or other school of, of thought have said that you know whiskey did whatever he did and then on the banter with the video had to go through that you know space to enable him you know bring out whatever music he's about to bring out to get the attention and then you know bring it out so there's been other school of, of thoughts but basically personally i feel that sarkodie did this to grab the attention of all and sundry within the African space. You get it. He's been the only sustainable, you know, rapper in Ghana who has been around for a whole lot of years, 10 years in the game. All right. Shout outs to him. But with this one, I feel that he needed the attention of Nigerians. If you listen to the audio, I don't want to look at Dream or others are saying that the video had to, you know, you know, tell Dremo an artist or a signee of his to, you know, reply Sarkodie instead of him, the video. All right. This does not take away the fact that even if the fact that you started, you know, way ahead than somebody did, it's not an automatic, you know, qualification to note that you would, you would be the boss of all time or you reign more than the one who started, you know, you can start something and then someone will surpass you in that regard. Okay, so it does not take away the fact that Davido and Odogu are worldwide domin or worldwide artists now, international artists and are known in the world more than Sarkodie. So if Sarkodie started even before, just as he said, Bernard Boy came into the picture and that of Davido, they are worldwide dominated or international artists and they are everywhere. So you can start all right, but people can surpass you and do much more better than you are doing. This I call, in my own take, as an attention-seeking uh, track. I love the rap. I love the lyrics. I love the precision. I love the song. I love every bit about it, but I feel that Sarkodie needs the attention of Nigerians. And you know, when, you, when they feel that the Nigerians have a majority stake 
of the music, you know, genre and the music thing in Africa now and the world now. So if you hit them, you get the attention you need. And that is exactly how or why I feel Sarkodie did this. But shout outs to him. It's a nice song. It's a nice track. Well, let's look forward to the other ones where the other artists, I don't want to talk about them. All right. Like I said, I want to stay fixated on the positive ones. I don't want us to go a lot more into the this, this, this one, replying this one now. I'm looking at it from the positive side. It's a job to get the attention of the whole of Africans, the world, Nigerians, because they are on top now. If you jab them, you get the attention. And Davido had to, as some were saying, let Dremo or Dremo reply Sarkodie. Well, what do you also think on today's editorial in our first studio right here in uh, in my studio, TJ Studios, and your Commander-in-Chief are? Well, I'm here. I'll be doing a lot, like I said. I'll be filling the gap of all the days I've not been able to bring you new exclusive from Friday, Saturday, and now. All right, guys, let's do this today. What are what is your opinion and what are your thoughts? Share them with me in the comment section about this topic. I don't want to be talking about this, this one, this, and this person. This is a channel for positivity, and that is what we are looking at. African Pan-Africanism is what we are looking at right here on this channel. I'm signing out of here. My name has always been TJ. Why are you looking forward to seeing more, more and more exclusives? Well, there will be an unveil unveiling of this studio where I'll be bringing you new faces, new hosts. You know, I'll not be doing all, hosting all the shows, all right? So we'll be doing more of this and I'll give you the chance to also share your opinion in line with what you want us to do going forward, okay? My name has always been TJ. Why? Do well to share your thoughts in line with this editorial. Do well to subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification button, which is gonna enable you to get notified whenever I post any new video. My name has always been TJ. Why? I salute you. You can call me a Mecca. Chuku and Mecca, you must win. Peace out. Urukami Ni Choma, and her name is Abba Chuku. Emma, what TJ Studios? Keep watching TJ Studios.